Hey, and welcome back. Let's work on our user activation. But before doing so, I want to talk about this endpoint. So this is the endpoint that we defined in our user routes. So in VS Code, and then into user routes. So a user will need to go to this route if they want to register. The next endpoint I want to talk about is in our user controllers. And it is this one right here. So in the email that we sent for our user registration, this link is provided for them. And we define this route when we build out our front end. So if I navigate to app.js, and this is the route that we defined, and it will render the activate layout component. So when the user click on the verify email button or the link we send in the registration email, it will lead them to this route. I want to show you the email. So if I click on this button or this link, it will lead them to the route that we defined in app.js. Next, let's jump back into Postman. I want to show you what happens if a user input an invalid email or password. But before we do that, I want to correct another mistake that I made. So back into VS Code and it's in my user controller. I will scroll up and I misspelled the word length. I will give that a quick save and then back into Postman. All right, let's begin with the email. If I remove the at symbol and press send, it will display the error that we wrote back to the user. All right, I will put that back. And then if I change my password, less than six characters, click send, it will also display this error. All right, now let's work on activating the user. So back into VS Code, I will scroll down and then I will say activate. It will be an async function that will take in the request and response and then our arrow function we will have the try and catch block. In our catch block, we have an error param. And if there's an error, I want to respond with a status of 500. And then a JSON message of the error. And then inside that for the message. Now onto the try block. First thing I want to do is get the token. So in the registration email that we sent to the user, there's a link that contained the activation token and we want to get that first. Next, we want to verify that token to make sure that our server was the one that signed the token. Next, we want to double check the user. So the email we sent out will expire in five minutes. And within that time, if the user didn't check their email, there could be another user that signed up with the same email. So therefore we have to double check again because we never know what could happen. And then if everything passed, we want to add a user into our database. And once everything passed, the activation is a success. All right, first thing is get the token. So I will say const activation token is equal to the request.body. Next, we want to verify the token. First, I want to import in JWT. I will import it here. So cons JWT, JSON web token, and then scroll down. Now I will say cons user is equal to JWT verify. We want to verify the activation token. Next, we have to pass in our secret keys. So process.env and the key was activation underscore token. Next, I want to get the payload in that token, which was the name, email, and password. And I'll set that equal to user. Now I want to double check if this user exists. So I will say con check is equal await use my user model and then a method called find one to look inside our database to see if this email exists and then I want to say if the check returned true 
then that means there's already a user that registered with that same email address so now i want to return a response with a status of 400 with a json message saying this email is already registered now if everything passed we want to add a user i will say cons new user is equal new user and then i want to pass in the payload which was name email and password after this we will save it to our database so await new user dot save and then if everything passed that means the activation was a success we want to respond with a status of 200 and a chasing message saying your account has been activated you can now sign in all right now give this a quick save now let's define a route that when our user wants to activate their account so i will go to user routes and then i will say route.post and then the route will be forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash activation and then i will use our user controller for the activate method give this a quick save all right let's test this out first i will log into my mongo database as you can see i have zero user now i want to open up postman i will create a new request so click here add request i will name it user activation it will be a post method and our endpoint would be the route that we just created a second ago which is this endpoint now i will select body and then raw and then json format we want to pass in the activation token So in order to get this token, I will need to register again because the email that we first got has now been expired. So I will jump back into the user registration, fix my password, and then click send. I will check my email. Here is the new email. And then I want to copy the token. Now back into Postman. Go back to this request and then paste in my token click send we got our success message and now i will check the database i'm going to refresh it and here is our first user all right, and this wrap up the lesson. And in our next lesson, we will work on signing in the user. See you then.